everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena back again with newspaper over my workstation which if you've been watching this channel for a while you probably know what that means i'm gonna be doing something with acrylics today and what this is this is that bullet journal i have had for like the last two plus years or so that originally I thought it would be a grand idea to get a bullet journal and actually plan stuff out. However, I quickly realized that either you're so busy planning stuff out that you're not actually doing anything or you actually have to have an interesting life in order to really make bullet journaling worthwhile. At least that's what I got out of bullet journaling. My whole three day stint in it. However, if you love bullet journaling, I mean, go for it, do it, do what makes you happy. Me, I found that I like doodling in my bullet journal and I also write scripts in it. So, uh, like, you know, just make of that what you will. But I figure that this book has remained a black slate for long enough. It's time to change that. And this is always, oh, listen. I like that. This is the first step, the gesso. Let's get to it. Somehow this was going better in my head. All right, this is something I haven't done in a long time. Painting on journal covers. I'd done several of these a hot while back, but they were all gifts for other people. Important people in my life that I love very much. So it's not like it was a bad thing or anything like that. Usually, I love these pour shots, but um, I was having some technical difficulties. It's like here I was, just trying to pop open the cap, and paint just wanted to splatter all over the place. I guess this is what I get for not doing anything with acrylics in a long time. I've been feeling the itch to do something with one of my most beloved characters, Neo Red Sun, and this time, also her familiar, Talon. Drawing on this with pencil over the gesso and dry paint, um, textured would be putting it lightly. It was interesting to say the least. I couldn't erase anything because if I tried, It'd leave a big, nasty, ugly smudge mark. But lately, I've been practicing drawing with just ink. Like, no sketch underneath, just diving right in. Inside the very journal I'm painting on, in fact. I've also been writing my script that I'm recording right now. Like, like this, this is like, this is just getting too meta, I gotta move on. Anyways, I thought I'd talk about how Neo came into being. I've had her for a while, I think since 2008 or so, but I remember assisting my mom with the creation of the Condiri as a playable race in TFT. Like, the, the Condiri, they're mine, but we figured out a way how to basically mod them into the game. Oh, yeah, the Fantasy Trip TFT, which is a very old tabletop RPG system, and I mean very old. But it's easier than D&D to modify, or at least the older versions of D&D that I've played. Like, 3.5 was the latest edition that I actually played before tabletop RPGs just kind of fell out of favor for me. One of the main differences between TFT and D&D, 
like D and D players, you've got all sorts of different dice. Like you've got your D twenty, you've got your D four, you've got your D six, D twelve, D ten. I think. I think there was also a D eight, but I'm not sure. Like I, I've still got some sets of D and D dice, but you've got all these different funky shaped dice. With TFT, you just use the standard six sided dice. All right, moving on. But I actually got to play Neo in a game for several sessions before certain members of our gaming group began infighting. Boy, that was fun. But that's something to rant about on another day. I also had the forethought to actually write up some healing spells for this system. Yeah, TFT doesn't have any healing spells in its handbook. Remember how I mentioned that this game is pretty easy to modify? Well, <laughs> that's one thing I did a lot of time doing. Oh yeah, they also didn't have a Find Familiar spell either. Well, inspired by having recently seen the Golden Compass at the time, and just having way too much time on my hands back then, I also developed a Find Familiar spell. Well, a roll of the dice and fate landed on Owl. Which may or may not have started my obsession with these magnificent birds. Um, <laughs> yeah, the roll of a dice in a game, complete random chance, spawned a love that still carries on to this day. Gosh, sometimes I do miss my tabletop RPG days. It was a simpler time when I didn't have to work. My biggest worries were updating my DeviantArt or something so insignificant I can't even remember now. Over time, I just shifted more into writing, especially when we all had to get jobs. It became harder and harder to bring the gang together. Things change. We grow up, life goes on. Wow, here I go getting super deep. Okay, I, I better bail before things get too heavy. Anyways, my Kondiri have outlived my mom's campaign she DM'd, which is too bad because she put a lot of effort into it. Remember that fighting I mentioned earlier. That and also my uncle who knew how to game the system and created a character that was like almost god tier OP. And he thought he was hot. You know what? One of the things that I loved about TFT over D&D was the fact that TFT is so much more versatile. Now, I haven't kept up with the newest edition of D&D, but I remember that the older editions were stupid strict on what you can and can't do. Such as, wizards can't use a sword or a bow. It's not in their list of approved weapons, so they can't use it. B.S. Watch Lord of the Rings. Gandalf used a sword. DM. Surprise Pikachu face. No, you still can't do it. Dang it. Okay, sorry, that was just a little reenactment of one of my personal experiences, but it irritated me. That was just one of my examples, but, like, especially first edition D&D, that was, it was so strict, it was not all that fun, to be honest. But DFT is a sandbox. You want to build a wizard who's also an archer? Go right ahead! Perhaps a thief packing a few spells and a two-handed sword? Sounds like fun! Basically, TFT actually allowed me to play a character the way I envisioned her. Okay, but now, cut to the present, I like drawing Neo with a bit more of a modern take. This time, I actually remembered to color her hoodie green. Last time I drew Neo, I did her wearing a pink hoodie because that's how I always wrote her. But I realized that her mane sort of blended in, so I've turned it green instead, and I think it overall looks much better. 
Yeah, 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 I know. File that under, well, it seemed like a good idea. Now, having not used my acrylics for such a long time, my first thoughts were, why did I choose to paint an owl? With all that banding and markings and so many different colors, why did I torture myself like this? And the other one, I don't think I'll be buying Royal Langnickel acrylics again anytime soon. Or at least not in these particular tubes that they're in. Like when I first got them, they worked okay. I did some paintings with them. They were fine. However, these tubes in particular, uh, the caps were literally falling apart. The paint was either dried up or a crusty, musty, unusable disaster. I tried revitalizing some of these paints with water and this additive that increases how long it will take for your paint to dry, and believe me, with acrylics, that is handy. In case you are wondering, what it's called is Liquitex Professional Slow Dry Blending Medium. That worked with some of my colors, but others were just too far gone. They kind of turned into a chunky mess that added a lot of unwanted texture. Like it wasn't the, the kind of elegant and sophisticated texture you get from, say, a nice thick body acrylic. It was like toddler ran rampant and added a bunch of stuff to your paint that you didn't want them to sort of effect. Yeah, not good. It was a bit frustrating at times, but with strategic mixing, I got it to work. Eventually, many a tube of acrylic wound up in the trash by the time this painting was finished. Which I really hate having to throw paint away, and I'm very sad about that. But these tubes had caps that were literally crumbling. However, my Liquitex acrylic was just fine. Thank you, Mom. I know you watch my videos. I have a hodgepodge of different acrylics. Some my mom gave me, some I picked up on my own. This is one of those mediums that I really think that I just need more practice with. Just like with colored pencils, the layers are everything. Like when I first started, I was kind of like, I hate it. I don't like it. What is the meaning of life anymore? Oh, hey, looky here. This is Neo and Talon. There they are. You just gotta keep at it. Sorry, I got kind of rambly. Sometimes I just get carried away. Okay, well, I think overall this was about, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 hours. <laughs> yeah, acrylic painting takes a while. I, I'm not really quite sure I like what this did, but too late to change it now, I guess. <laughs> uh, overall, I think that this turned out pretty well, especially considering I haven't used these in uh, almost, I, I want to say two years. Like, like, this was the first time I broke out the acrylic paints since I moved to Texas, okay? It has been a long, hot while. But all I gotta do now is spray this bad boy with fixative and then I can finally start doodling in this journal again, which it's really weird because here I am painting it. Like, you know, I gotta set it down, let it dry before I can work on the next piece of it. And then I'm like, oh, I wanna doodle it. it oh, wait, right. Okay, 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 I gotta wrap this up because I have really gotta wash off these poor brushes. Acrylics, they will, ugh. oh boy, acrylics. Your brushes are gonna be screaming in agony. That That is one thing I do remember. Not quite sure if I like that line art or not, but too late. No, uh, uh, focus, focus. Okay, so. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today's video. I certainly hope that you have enjoyed. If you have ever picked up acrylics yourself, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of them. 
I for one, I do firmly believe I need a lot more practice with the medium. I will fully admit that. Uh, acrylic paints, while I enjoy playing around with them and making a mess, it's not really my... It, it's probably one of the, the lower tier art supplies for me, and what I mean by that is just... It's probably one of the mediums that I'm... I don't want to say bad in, but it... I personally don't think I'm really all that great with them, but I still enjoy playing around with them, if that makes sense. Alrighty, um, let's see here. There's that confession that I'll probably regret later during editing. Um, oh yes, be sure to visit my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art, and be sure to check out my second channel, Silver Hyena Plays. If you're curious about some of the not art supply related stuff that I do, um, I film it and put it there. So, okay, um, with all that being said, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye! And boy, do I have a mess to clean up.